Hi, my name is Kevin Taylor. I believe, yes, I believe Nana Arudankwe Kufuado is too old to value the lives of Ghanaians. This is with all due respect. With all due respect, I believe Nana Adodam Kweku Fuado is too old. The president is too old to value human lives, to value the lives of Ghanaians. Sometimes, you know, I get some loved ones reaching out to me, telling me to slow down on the president, and that sometimes some of the words I use are too strong to be used on a certain president. So you know what? I took some of the advice. I decided to tone down a little bit. Fine. To at least give the president room to at least show us that he's competent. Now. Recent events have shown that Nana Adodan Kwekufuado is not a person. Listen to me. Recent events have shown that Nana Adodan Kwekufuado, the president of the Republic of Ghana, is not a person or a leader to be treated with subgloves. To me, I see him as a greedy, hungry old politician and not a leader. He is clueless. The Kufuado is clueless and very ignorant about the position he occupies. And I will say this. Ghana has made the greatest mistake in our history for electing an old man who is older than this country and who does not see the importance of human life. Ikufuado does not care about Ghanaians. All he thinks about is the next elections. All he cares about is being called a president by hypocrites and thieves who only think about their selfish gains. Today I'm not going to mince words. Why do I say all these? Now, I want every Ghanaian to watch these videos, these pictures, and after that, I'll tell the president my peace of mind. So, with all due respect, after you watch this, we are in 2019 getting to 2020, and the whole precedent, these are citizens of Ghana. Now, before we go to the videos and the pictures, a certain president stands in front of national television and tells Ghanaians that he is not going to distribute ambulances. So, all the ambulances, we Ghanaians, our taxes, we have bought with our tax, our own money, comes together so that he could distribute it and make it a political gimmick. He wants all the ambulances to come so that he could call all his sicko fans, his tribal bigots, to follow him and say that, yes, Ekufuad brought in ambulances, so now Ghanaians, you can use it. That statement alone the president made is an impeachable statement. It means that this president does not care about the lives of Ghanaians. This man was put there to, one, protect us, two, make laws that will protect the future generation. Now, as we speak, ambulances are packed. They are rotten. Everybody is quiet. This old man, Nanado Danko Kufuado, who is older than this country, and the reason why I'm saying this is because he knows the problem of this country, the basic problems. Health. Let's stick to health. This president knows everything about this country. Then he sits and says, wait, keep the ambulances there. Let die, women die. Let, let women, let these, these Ghanaians, these citizens, these poor citizens die. With the Kufuado. Will Ekufuado allow his daughters to go through the shit? And when we speak, some people are like, your words are too strong. Should I go use it on an elephant? Mothers, sisters are dying. And you sit in the Flagstaff house with a hanky tied around your wrist and you think you are the wisest president ever. And the hypocrites in Ghana, my fellow journalists, everybody's mute from the pastors. Civil societies, you're all quiet. Women are dying, ambulances are packed there. Imagine John Dramani Mahama made the statement. The whole country would have turned upside down because it was a northerner. Because turning in a car, I said, no, hey, John Mahama, I can say, let's keep ambulances and let people die. Because Nane Kufuado is one of us and we are stupid to sit back and keep quiet. I pay this man with my taxes. I pay those sicko fans following him with our taxes. And we have to keep quiet because he's the president of the republic. And who made him the president? My fellow Ghanaians, I'm not going to mince words today. This is the most stupid statement any president has ever made in our history. And I will say it. And whoever wants to attack, I don't care. 
Now in Ghana, anybody who speaks the truth has been paid by John Mahama. This is the final episode. I'm setting the grounds for 2020. We are not going to play again. We are serious. Women are losing lives every single day. You packed ambulance. You are sitting in a comfortable um, um, place with your wife and children. And you tell us these words and we should smile and come and sit here and say, Mr. President, God bless you. Am I stupid to do that? Am I stupid? Do you know the number of women who have died because of your carelessness? Yes, you are careless, you are ignorant, And I, I pity Ghanaians. This person will come back to you. Your children died, your aunties died, your mothers died. You forget about these things and you go and vote for people like this. They don't care about you. All they care about is the next election. How to be called Mr. President. How to steal. I will speak. And if you don't want to listen to me, you don't want to watch my show, I don't care. I don't need your money. I am fighting for the people of Ghana. And if a certain president stands in front of a TV and says that I'm not going to distribute ambulance because I'm waiting for all the ambulance to come, do you know the number of people who have died? The lives we've lost. Everybody's quiet. This should be the topic we should be discussing on TV. Kwekubako, he has become a zombie walking in and out of the flagstaff. Hall. No sense. You can't speak anything to this man. Or that you want people to be calling you senior journalists. You've lost your senses. Because of politics, pettiness. Kwame Mr. Fakai has become a senior zombie sitting there because every year he can change V8. And other journalists, these are criminals. You don't care about the people again. And I pity my people, my own account people. We are petty, we are tribalistic. Today we can't speak. You go to these account stations, they ignore the re real issues and talk about useless, baseless things. You people have moved all your kids to Europe, America, Asia, they are living good lives. The ordinary Ghanaian who's paying the taxes for you to be living in that V8 is dying. And they tell us that we have to keep the ambulances till everything comes so that you use it to win politi uh, your, your campaign. Are we sick as a people? Are we sick? And the president is walking in and out of the Flagstaff house, shaking people, and we smile to this person. Ekufuad is clueless. Ekufuad is ignorant. Ekufuad is bad news for Ghana. And you can say whatever you want. And I'm speaking as an MPP member. I've made the biggest mistake by making people vote for this man. This man has no clue of what he's doing. If the fundamentals of this country, it is not important to you. Then once again, we need water. We, we don't, you Ekufuad, you don't build. You Ekufuad, you don't. That's why I tell people that there's nothing like... All politicians are the they are not. It's a fact. John Mahama built. He has built hospitals across the nation. And we see we are not fools. Just come in, bring in ambulances, spread it across these hospitals for it to work. You can't do that. Just that. And you want us to say, we are sorry, Mr. President, we use some strong words. You want to go use those words on an elephant? I know sick of one sitting on TV and calling me and telling me the words are strong. Who should I go use those? Have you lost a relative before? Have your sister gone to give birth and died because there was no ambulance? And you sit there and tell me nonsense? We are not going to, going to take these useless things again. The corruption in this country. PDS. Your family members were right in the middle. Your brother Bumpty. Kenoforiata. Gabi. These criminals. They are all there. You've ignored it. Corruption is high. People come by simple food. Cement is high. Soap is high. Everything is so high in Ghana. Expensive stuff. We don't have to talk about it because it's not John Mahama. Should our politics be around John Mahama? And we don't have to speak. Today in Ghana, life is so expensive. You can't, you can't buy soap, you can't buy milk, you can't buy cement, fuel is high. Nobody's talking about it because it is not John Mahama, because it is not a Nordner. On your tenny, so we cannot attack him. On your tenny, so we cannot attack Ekufuado. If John Mahama had come to, to the press and said that he's keeping ambulances till the rest comes, everybody from Vim Lady, her mouth, Chinese condom. He would, she would scream the whole world. If John Mahama had come to meet the press and make such a statement, hell would have broken loose in Ghana. Because, or a tenny, this stupid tenny John Mahama was the one who built all the hospitals across this country. Today you are paying billions to contractors for roads you are saying John Mahama didn't build. Such a clueless, ignorant, lying old man. I am an Akan and I'm disappointed in Ghanaians because majority of us are Akans. 
Today we can't speak. Where are the journalists who were sitting on TV 24-7 trying to get rid of John Mahama? What are we seeing today? We are almost going into hippie again and everybody's quiet. We are not going to sit there for people to come and lie to us again. We are not. The vice president has become a zombie, has become a comedian, walk, walking around, lying, attacking people. What, what, what didn't we see in this country? Galam say campaign. No, you people are not talking about it again. An ignorant soul like Chema Wood to me is still digging, destroying our forest with his fellow Chinese. And you are sitting here telling me you are fighting Galam Say. Where is Galam stop? Where are the drones you bought? You think we are fools, right? Go to Takwa, go to Abbas, people have been rendered jobless. You sent ignorant idiots like Chema Wood to me, Abronja DC, come and sit on radio and spill lies. And you think we are going to be stupid like 2015, 2016 to take in all this nonsense? We are not going to take this nonsense. Women are dying. Kids are dying. And you've packed ambulance and you don't care. And you want me to come sit here and show you respect? I'm not going to do that, Mr. President. I am not.